hi hello everyone well, welcome to the uh, next session of uh, html development so as part of our previous session we have discussed about uh, mark u tag right so in that uh, using that mark u tag we can able to scroll the text so we can add that uh, scrolling effect uh, to the text and if you want we can change that effect to sliding as well as alternate uh, like you, know, you can add that uh, bouncing nature also to the uh, not only the text uh, any content we can able to do that so that is what we have discussed in the uh, previous session so before we proceed further uh, just give me the confirmation that you are able to uh, see my screen and as well as you're able to hear my voice just one of you clear yes Kesha, we can hear you okay okay so now uh, so as part of our html journey we learned how to add different different uh, uh, you know content to the page in that uh, context we learn how to add text images links list and we have seen how to add uh, like media files also. so now today we are going to uh, deal something like how to add tables to our web page so in general when we talk about the data like uh, especially the uh, text related data so we can able to display uh, that data in a web page in uh, different uh, formats we can able to display that could be uh, paragraphs and uh, headings and list which is what you know we have discussed in the previous sessions like list and in the same way we can display the data even in the form of a table sometimes it is required uh, you know uh, to display the data in the table of format so that uh, it would be more informative instead of um, you know lines of lines of text instead of that if you can make it as a table uh, it would be easy for the people to understand so at that time usually write tables in our page so uh, as we know that uh, everything in uh, html is done uh, with the help of tag means if you want to add something to the table we use a tag so in that context if you wanted to add a table to your page web page we have to use table tag it will be like a open table and then close table so this is what used to add the table so whenever we talk about a table uh, what will be there in the table some data should be there in the uh, table so when you're talking about the data the data is represented in the form of rows and as well as uh, in the form of columns so those two things together will be there and as a combination of that we'll be having some small boxes over there we usually call them as cells uh, in that we do have the data so before we create any table first of all we should have an idea that how many rows our table is going to have if you have that idea then we can easily uh, you know create the tables so to get that uh, you know rows in a table that is like if you wanted to add a row in a table and here we use a tag like uh, tr the tag name will be like tr and it represents a row in a table so here, uh, So uh, assume this is a simple table which actually you know, we wanted to add our page.
so here we can have something like name Face. Okay, occupation or job, something like that. Just like that, I want some data here. Now, uh, we can have the data in service in the form of rows here. I'm having uh, three people. Uh, that's it. So this is the data uh, I want to represent in this table and here just the separation will be there. So that's it. This is the table actually I wanted to add to my web page. So if you observe the table closely, you will be knowing that it is containing a total of four rows are there, right? And in each uh, row, we have total of three columns also. So four rows and three columns are so in this scenario, uh, to add each row, we use something like, you know, TR tag. And coming to the columns, we don't have any special tag to add column. But uh, what is happening is in this first row, you are having three boxes. If you can observe here, uh, here, three boxes are there in the first row. One, two, three. Second row also, one, two, three. Three boxes are there. Right? So this, this one. So this box is called a data cell. It is called a data cell so to represent each data cell we use a special or specific tag called a td td represents a data cell tag so we write that so like that in each row we have total of three three uh, data cells so that is what we are going to create now in our web page so to do that uh, we can create a web page you know already how to create a web page generally take first notepad over there and uh, write this basic structure at the blueprint I say data tag then we have body tag now we can save this file the name you can write anything uh, as you are working with the tables so this time I am writing it tables dot html but dot html is a mandatory thing now click this yeah we can add any content over there yeah. Here I'm writing something like adding uh, table to work page. Now save this. Yeah, we have to see the output, right? So to see the output, uh, go to this location and yeah, same folder. It is uh, tables. Click this. Yeah. Yes, we are ready. Okay, fine, but you have not added any table yet. Now we are going to add a table to this. Yeah. To do this, uh, to do this already we know, right? You know, table tag we need to use. So here I am adding this and inside this we have to first decide how many rows are there. We already know that four rows are there. Because we knew that this particular uh, table we need to add to our web page. So it is containing a total of four rows. So for that, 
Yeah. In each row, how many data cells are there? Three data cells are there. Each row, three data cells are there. Actually, we don't have anything like column, like DC under, but we have data cell. But how the con column concept here is, it is very simple. In each row, we have how many columns? Three columns. Are, three columns are generally there, but in each row, how many data cells we are having here? Here we are having three data cells. But how we got three data cells? Because of those three columns only. So here, okay, we can count total how many data cells? One, two, three, four, three, four. Total is 12 data cells. But how those 12 data cells came? Four rows and three columns. So four, three, zero, two. So in that way only we'll be getting. So instead of column, we don't have column, but because of column only, we have this data cell. It's a cross section, like, you know, it's a combination of row and column. So what we do here is in each row, we write uh, data cells. Where the data cells, we use something like PD tag. So just use this. Yeah, total of how many? Three uh, we have used. So that is what uh, first row is about. Yeah. So now, in the second row, also same story. Right. So just to copy the same the structure. Uh, this is second row. This is third row. Fourth row. Four rows are there. Now in the first row, what is there? The data I have to mention inside the TD. You have to be very careful that here we should not mention inside the, you know, TR. We should never mention any data over there. We have to write data always only inside the. TDR, TDR, uh, TD is something which is the one containing the data, not the other, you know, tag like uh, TR. Okay, fine. Name, place, and we have something like job. Okay. Now, yeah, some names are there here. Yeah. So it is place. Second one will be place and share. The job. So second data cell, third column, or third, uh, second row, third data cell is engineer, and uh, this one is like a doctor and here it will be like a teacher. I'll save. Okay, we already have this script. You can simply reload the page. Now we are able to see. So if you look at this, uh, this table is added. Actually, it looks like a uh, table is not added, some content added, but uh, table is not added it may give the feeling like that right but actually the reality is like table is added but what uh, see if you say table is not added uh, what is the data here uh, so i am having name place job ajay something i should get everything in one line or i should get everything one by line one by one like name ajay place ravi next one by one one by one like that i have to get 12 lines or i have to get only everything data in the single line something like that kind of a paragraph but i'm not getting the data in that way i'm getting the data in how many those total four lines are coming right in each line you're having like a three or the vertical sections are there means yes table is added but uh, here what we are unable to see about this table is those borders we are missing something like borders. so in general to add the borders to a table we take the help of css with the help of css only we usually add borders to the table but at this moment oh, we do not know the css thread right? but still uh, there is one attribute called border attribute name is what border you know inside the opening tag whatever we write like property is called attribute equal to double quotes and here uh, oh we can just mention something some number so you have to keep it small uh, because it will give you a big one uh, yeah like this so it's a border but to uh, but if you look at this uh, this is a default border uh, something will come like that and uh, see it looks like something double double and uh, okay fine but uh, we cannot uh, do anything more than this here oh, because uh, it's all about you know through html so we cannot do anything more than that and here we have one more extra attribute as well called a bg color oh, which will change the background color and here uh, something like bg color is also an attribute special attribute and uh, this one we'll use only when we do not know 
the CSS. But the moment when we land CSS, we do not use this BG color and we do not use this border property. But still, we apply some CSS to our table with the background color borders. Everything will be applying, but with the help of CSS. Okay, fine. Uh, here. Color okay, yellow. Now save. Open browser. Reload it. Yeah. So okay, fine. We got at the table. So in this way, we'll be adding a table to our web page. So first thing is, we need to uh, consider the total of how many rows are there in a table. First, write the table tag and then decide. Uh, you know, uh, just to cross check how many rows were there in your a table so depending on that tr tag for each row should be added in each row we do have that uh, multiple data cells are available right and these data cells are the combination of rows and columns so how many data cells are there that many tds we need to represent in a row and important thing is here inside the td only we have to write the data so that's it uh, that is about you know how we add the table but if you look at the first row, what is there in the first row? The content is like name, place, and job, right? Name, place, job. Uh, next is like, you know, normal names are there, like, so Ajay, okay, data of Ajay, data of Ravi, data of Bhuvan. But, but first row is like, uh, it's a kind of headings, right? Means it's a fixed row, like, uh, it tells what exactly the data is going to contain in those columns, right? First column definitely will be named. That is what it is telling. So, and our simply simple words we said something like it's not, it's a headings. So to represent that, we use a, a row, right? So what we can do here is instead of TD, uh, we can write something TH over there. There is no difference between TD and TH, and we don't use TH. Uh, Often we use, uh, you know, very rare only in the case if you want something to be represented in the form of heading instead of a uh, instead of normal text over there. See, this is uh, before reloading the e content. The page looks like this. Means here every row uh, the content style is same. The text style is same. Means uh, a non-bold text. To see, everything is same. The way Ajay looks, the same way the word name is same, right? Both are looking same. Now go to this and uh, reload the page. And now, now observe the difference. If you see, name is bold, right? Means name, place, or job. They are bold. Whereas the content present in the TDR non-bold text, but whereas the content present in the uh, THR looking like bold. So it, it it simply like you know have headings and a paragraph. Right? By default, headings are bold in nature, whereas um, Paragraphs are non-bold in nature. You know that. So in the same way here as well, uh, the TH are by default bold and TDs are non-bold. This is one difference we have between TH and TD. Generally, TD is for adding content to the table. TH also the same one. But TH is very rare we will be using. One difference is bold and non-bold. The other difference also that if you guys observe this that uh, if you look at that word like job, third one, third column, if you look at that word job and uh, something like Ravi, you look at that Ravi. So job is uh, something where uh, you have, uh, it's like a uh, J-O-B, like, you know, just a three letter, right? It's a uh, three letter word and uh, Ravi is like a four letter word. But if you look at the job, the placement of job is in the middle, middle of the box, you're able to see, right? But whereas the Travi is to the left, it is aligned to the left side of, you know, um, that box. Whereas job is trying to occupy the space is provided in the middle. You know that, right? So that is what uh, another difference means, the alignment. The alignment of, uh, you know, heading is almost and uh, always center, not always center. Whereas in the TD, the content alignment would always be at... Uh, left side so that is another difference so tdth both are used for adding content to your table tr is just to define a row but inside the tr we need either tdr th so almost tdth same uh, only the bold and non-bold difference so here the content of uh, 
speed is always uh, non bold and as well as the alignment of data or text present in the tv is always to the left side whereas in the th uh, any anyway, text is bold and uh, the alignment is always to the center that's the difference here and if you want to see that uh, in more effective way uh, yes you can do now uh, you can see now as well but Just like that, I'm ready. Now, oh, one person is there with some big name. Now, see. Reload. Yeah, see this. Uh, Ravi is a small word. Small means like, you know, it's a word of just four letters. Whereas name is also a word of four letters. But the placement of name is exactly in the middle of the box. Whereas the placement of Ravi is to the left side of the box. That's it. So, this is about, you know, uh, TH and uh, TD is present in a table. That's it. And now, if you look at that, uh, the first row is for headings. Now, I want to do the opposite thing. So, opposite thing means here, see, I want to create a table now. Just observe. And in, the, in that table, So I hope you have got it. What is uh, different between the previous one and this one? And for better idea, I would like to use the same data, same people, same data. But what happened here? Just uh, things are getting opposite. Like you know, they the uh, you know, whatever the rows are there, rows are becoming columns here, and columns are becoming like rows here. So this this table I wanted to uh, you know add. I wanted to add it actually, but to do that uh, first we have to understand this. So directly I wanted to add that one uh, just by looking at this uh, output. I want uh, you know, opposite. I, I I wanted to say that, but uh, you people should get a proper idea. You know what exactly uh, I'm wishing to add with this one. So yeah. So people tell me what to do here if I want to add this, how to write it. So write your uh, answer in the chat box. Any guesses how to how to write this table? In a row, what I have to write? If you have any idea, you can you know, say that in the chat box. All of you. Okay, fine. Uh, it's simple, sir. Here yeah, that first row. How to add generally a row? TR. You know that already, right? It's a TR tag. 
and inside that we generally write the tdsth and all so okay so what is what that row is containing total of four data cells right four boxes are there cells in that the first box is heading it is dedicated for heading from the second box onwards total how many boxes are there one two three four four boxes are there from the second box onwards it will be td that's it a row first data cell first is like you know column it is containing a heading as a data cell next is like normal data cell that's it like that how many one two three that's it this is what we need inside that we have the data the same thing will work for the next row also same only the name of uh, you know heading name of the data will change name of the heading will change in the third row as well but first column is for heading and uh, next three are dedicated for table data that's it now same thing i wanted to do here as well so i want to create a one more table here so to create the table you know already uh, to create a table we use a tag like table tag right now uh, inside that uh, have three rows in the table i have three rows now close the table yeah so in each row first one will be like uh, dedicated for headings name place and uh, job that's it now here same we can add some data over there yeah you already know this it is opposite thing it's not a zero it's a j and you name it something like ravi and it is sets in hard band and what we have stopped the last one uh, some other name now save that's it go to the browser reload it yeah we got the table but uh, we are missing that uh, you know, border and all that so generally to give the border we use attributes only since we don't have the css knowledge yeah save uh, to give you a better understanding i'm writing another background color so display purpose yeah now see this so now we are able to uh, you know see two tables are there here this table is actually known as a table with the vertical headings we can consider this like you know a table with vertical headings whereas we can consider this second one table second table as something like a table with the the first one is like not vertical the table with horizontal headings are present in the row in a row right so we call it as like a, a table with the horizontal headings whereas this table we can consider like a, a table with the vertical headings now i want to give some uh, name to my table name means uh, here before my table starts here i want some name here also i want some name like a kind of title to my table its name is like you know it's like a title to the uh, table so in that scenario uh, there is a special uh, what we say tag is there a special tag is there called caption tag you know right generally uh, for movie names uh, the main title would be there for the movie name and just to below to that uh, title of the movie we always have something uh, at least uh, these days you will be having that right some other name will be there uh, which is like a caption and that is not uh, an isolated one means if you are having the name of the movie always along with the name it will be there right just to be said or just to, mostly uh, just to below to the name of the movie we usually have that uh, something like you know caption right so that is called you know, caption the same thing here also if you want to add some 
caps into your table inside the table we need to write it and here i'm writing something like caption and uh, you write anything you can write here i'm writing table with uh, horizontal headings or i can say horizontal headings too now open right caption is open and then close the caption now you can copy this and it's like vertical headings table let's go there uh, this is bureau before reloading okay now reload the page yeah now we are able to see it is a uh, actually i zoomed it right so no, normally actually it is like this so in this way we can able to add a caption and if you look at this this caption is exactly in the middle right so that's it this is about you know uh, a table how we add a table and uh, you know how we write a different different uh, styles of table like uh, a table with the uh, horizontal headings and a table with the uh, vertical and what kind of data we are having in the table this time so we have text related data so what is that some names something like that it is there and as well as uh, headings are there and as well as normal data but whatever it is the total it is about you know text related content so using table we do this but uh, uh, table is not just for text means a table can contain other kind of data as well so what does it mean other kind of data so you can have a table for links as well means in the table data sets especially the data sets can contain normal text or it can contain links or something anything it can have images anything you can have so to do that what to do it's uh, very simple you just decide what kind of table you want see let's say for example i want one simple table uh, in this i just want only two rows uh, not two rows not two rows what to say just two columns that uh, the representation would be like very simple uh, like your web application name uh, like amazon here you have to write amazon uh, wikipedia just like that uh, ircdc okay flipkart whatever it is and their website name means link link their website link present in the second column so the first column and it will be like the name of the application the second column you can have that link here you have something named like youtube here you will be a link for youtube youtube if people can click this youtube then youtube will open amazon if we will click this amazon will open understood so here it is about the text related content whereas this is about the links so in that way so what these are about and just uh, two columns are there one is the website name or you say company name or application name you can say anything because amazon is a company amazon is a website amazon is a web application here i am giving cycle you can write anything that's it so this table i wanted to create and which is going to contain the data which is not just a text which is another data like link so how to create it very simple first to decide how many you know rows you want so here uh, 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay you can now we want only three you can but the first one is for heading so first to decide create the table so to create a table we know already that table tag is used which is the main tag table and now in each table to add a row tr tag In each row, how many data cells are there here? At least two data cells. But first uh, row is dedicated for headings, right? Website name, website link. That's it. Now, from the second row onwards, uh, what we have, we'll be having second row also same. Uh, that is uh, two columns only, but two things are data cells only, right? Uh, so in this, what we should have? The first one, okay, fine. You have to write the name of the application or whatever it is, website name. 
but here you have to provide the link where inside the second one here how to write normal text to something like this you will write right if i want to write a link there you already know how to write a link how to write a link with the help of anchor tag that's it so in the place of that normal text we have to write the anchor tag that's it and you know the structure or syntax for the anchor tag already so href is the main thing and here you need to provide some something link or whatever in india okay fine but here it is important what is it uh, and whenever you are writing the data uh, you can write the data in any of the way like you know for better readability uh, you you can write like this so here the first row containing two data sets this is only for better readability if you if the names are you know the content is small if it is fit in single row in, in your editor that's fine if not you can simply hit enter and you can write like this yeah now uh, here you need to provide the address that is the main thing right? so https uh, colon double slash www amazon dot in that's it now save so we'll have to cross check reload yes created but without any borders over there uh, for this table now we have to write the same border attribute and background color save just go there reload yes if you click this yes but it is a uh, table containing other data other data means which is not uh, not just the uh, um, what you call like you know text data we can have other kind of data also same you can copy it and you can get it anything other thing like uh, India Wikipedia page, you can have it. You need to change the address. It will be like Wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash India. And here you can write something. You can write any name for your link. Here I'm writing something about India. Now let's go there. Uh, reload. Yeah. See this now. So here it's a table containing other data. So when I talk about table containing other data, it need not be link. It need not be link. Then it can be any other thing. Like, you know, we add a normal text over there. Right? In that place, we can even have images as well. Assume here again, same story, uh, website or application name here and here the logos, some, some uh, applications or some websites will be having uh, you know trademark logos will be there no amazon you know that logo right some yay some symbol will be there and okay india yeah, you can have a map or something like that uh, youtube you can have something youtube here you'll be having link means only youtube.com something but when you talk about that uh, symbol you'll be having like the red color play button something something that uh, tube kind of symbol will be there so like that we can have so we can have means uh, like image also we can have as a data over there so how to do that that's very simple uh, the main thing is in this td we generally write a data here open td close td in between we write the data that data can be anything if you write normal text over there then it will be like a table containing text but if you write in the place of text any other thing then that thing will be coming over there same here i represented here a a means anchor tag so link is added as a data to the table in the place of this anchor tag, I can even write IMG, means image tag I can able to write over there. So if I write image tag there, then what happened? Image will be added to a table. That's it. So we can say that that particular table has something like, you know, table with images or table containing images. So not only that, we can even have uh, a table with the 
audio files you know right sometimes what happens you know if you uh, look at some websites in that online uh, you know if you want to listen songs online i am not talking about the songs uh, like in you know, video songs i am talking about audio songs so in that also yes we can able to do it, uh, do that see here you might observe that right? where you can play now here something i mentioned like song name here song you can have song number like a one box one table for one movie name okay one one table for one one movie in that movie have generally four or five or six songs right so like that you can have that. it's up to you you can whatever the way you wanted to create it yes if you want something extra yes you can able to create here one more row not row one more column here something like you know song number i'm writing here now see the first td what i'm writing song number one now here see second cd you write that song whatever it is okay you write anything just like that i'm writing the whole song this time writing okay you can write anything yeah next is one more td is there right? here three columns right uh, first is for song number should be there song name and song should be there uh, i need another uh, you know td here uh, yes good now in this td what should be there i want the audio audio that the complete audio file i want you already know how to add audio file to your web page okay. usually you know wait how to add but here in this case it's a special scenario that inside a table i want that audio file that too inside the table where do we add the data always inside the td so here simply write uh, audio you already know how to add audio tag uh, audio file using audio tag that's it one audio tag represents one audio file so now i want to add one audio file here so and here a special thing you already know it controls must be used we can write equal to on or you can leave as it is next here is a self closing tag will be there called s source tag in that attribute is there called src in that you have one more attribute called type just write it. next what is my web page name tables dot html that is present in which uh, folder html 7 am now i want to add one audio file do we have any audio file yes whose name is sample 1 dot mp3 that audio file is also present in the same folder like html 7 am uh, the tables are containing in the tables web page containing the HTML 7am folder only. Person image also uh, this one sample one MP3 file also present in the same folder. So when I am giving the address of the page, uh, address of the video file, audio file, whatever it is, so I no need to worry about the path here. That's it. You can write anything here. I am just writing uh, to keep it in a better readable position. To improve its readability i'm writing in the next line again you can write anything does not matter you have to write proper syntax so i am writing audio slash mp3 now save this let's go to your browser you just uh, reload the same and here uh observe this okay some links extra can be done we have to remove that uh, yeah this is for first row right total thing is for first row like that i can have second row in that i can have data of second sum okay just have mentioned same okay. like zoom it like this yeah now uh okay tdt it's something is missed here uh we have not properly closed and opened i think so uh here tr td open td close td open td closed uh, here th extra uh, th open and th close th open th close that's good now just go there and see this is extra now that will be replaced proper yeah that's it so now yes you can able to uh, happily play this so just this is about a table containing other data so not just text related data a table can contain other data as well so this is about learning uh, you know table concept that how to add table to a web page so that too with the help of table tag so what we learned today uh, how to add table to a 
work page. In that scenario, we have to use table tag as a main tag. Inside that, if you want to represent any row, we have to write tr tag. And data should not be written directly in the tr tag. Data always should be written inside the TDs. So TDs are like, you know, it's a combination of um, rows and columns. So uh, in each row, how many columns are there? That many TDs usually uh, you know, will be there. Right. So that is what, you know, uh, TDs are about. And there is one more called TH that is also for data. Data will not write in the TR. Data will write only inside the TD, right? Or even in the TH also. There is some small difference between them. That is usually TH are for uh, exclusively uh, we use them for adding uh, what we say headings. But whereas TDs are for normal data here. Right? And that's it. You can make a table with uh, vertical headings also. If you wanted to make a table uh, with the uh, uh, vertical headings so what we can do here is uh, we can able to write first column as the th and the second column onwards you can write normal tds right so that's it guys uh, that's it for today uh, in the uh, next session we will see some uh, other uh, uh, aspects uh, so I hope you are clear with the decisions. If you are having any doubt, just let me know. Else, if you are clear, uh, just mention like you are clear uh, in the chat box. Quickly, all of you have to mention the same. If you have doubt, you can ask me. If not, just mention like uh, you are clear. All of you have to participate. Yes, okay, so, uh, we are at this side. Yeah. Uh, okay. we can... Uh, uh, this song is playing with uh, image is possible in the table. What what? Uh, we can place the song in the uh, to the image. To the image, I didn't get you. Uh, oh, what like uh, I'm telling you. Mm. Uh, when I uh, I can place the image in the one three D column. Uh, mm -hmm. When I am clicking on the image, it will be play the song. It is possible for. You should click the image. A uh, song should be played. Ah uh, yes. You can provide a link for that. For an audio file link, you can able to give to that image. Yes, you can able to get it. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Sir. Yeah, that's guys. If you have any doubt, just let me know. Or uh, if not, just mention like you are clear, guys. Quickly, all of you, Joel, Malik, Hari, Shweta, Sai Kiran, Akshara. Okay, guys, we will see rest of the things in our next session, guys. Uh, okay, uh, try to practice this. Don't forget, try to practice this. Okay, guys. Bye, guys. Take care.